Dice iPod and iPhone integration kit is really a pretty impressive device. We're here in a 2004 BMW 330Ci, and we want to give you a quick demonstration so you can see how powerful it is and get a feel for the features it packs in. This kit is 100% plug and play and connects right to your existing CD changer connections, which are present in every BMW in the US. It also gives you CD quality sound and full control of your music right from your radio and the iPod. Plus it shows you what you're listening to right from the radio. It's also really easy to install. Anyone can do it in about an hour. This BMW is also equipped with an optional iPod dock that goes in the factory ashtray location, giving you an easy way to connect and access your iPod or iPhone. Also really easy to install, and it's completely stealth too. Just close the ashtray door. So let's get started. We're using the most recent version of the kit, the Silverline Pro. One of the really cool features of the kit is that it functions in two separate modes depending on how you prefer to control your iPod. If you're like most people and you have a big music collection, you can operate the kit in smart mode, which allows you to control your music right from your radio or pick up your iPod and use that if it's convenient. You get a little less control from the radio in smart mode, but you more than make up for it by being able to use your iPod too. We'll show you that first. In order to use smart mode, we need to connect my iPhone in unlocked mode. I'm just going to unlock it and then place it in the spec dock. If you have an iPod touch, it's going to be exactly the same. And with an iPod Nano or Classic, just make sure your hold switch isn't on. Now, the dice has recognized the device and it's already started playing the first song. Now, from within smart mode, I have three control modes for my iPhone from the radio, and each mode is assigned to one of the radio preset buttons. If I want to control by song, I'll just press one, or three if I prefer. Then I can press track up or down. And if I want to change the playlist, I'll press two, then again, just track up or down. And if I press 4, I can browse by album within the current playlist. So, as you can see, that gives me a lot of control, but sometimes it doesn't make sense to browse through 500 albums sequentially. I mean, it's one of the reasons we bought an iPod in the first place. They're really fast to get around. So when it's convenient and safe, sometimes I'll just grab my iPhone to browse and select what I want. Once it's playing, I just throw it back on the dock and voila. From here, I can just track up and down quickly and easily. Now that you've seen smart mode, we want to show you how the kit works with smart mode turned off. The difference is that with smart mode off, you get more control from the radio, but you can't control your music with your iPod. It's very similar to smart mode, but I get some new control modes. Here's how it works. First, I have to take my iPod off the dock and I select the music that I want to listen to so that it's playing and then I lock it using the lock button on the top of my phone. Then I place it back in the dock. Now, if I have an iPod Nano or an iPod Classic, it's the same process, only I just need to make sure that the hold switch on the top of the device is turned on. The difference is that with smart mode off, you get more control from the radio, but you can't control your music with your iPod. It's very similar to smart mode, but I get some new control modes. Now I can browse by artist or album if I want. The way I do that is by pressing either three for artist and tracking up or down, or four 
for album and tracking up or down to listen to what I want. And I still have the option to browse by track by pressing one and tracking up or down. Now keep in mind, you can also use the track controls right on your steering wheel here if you want. And I can also control by playlist by pressing two. And again, tracking up or down either here or on the steering wheel. Really, it's a lot of control and flexibility and just superb sound quality and a super easy install and an affordable package. Finally, you can have your entire music collection in your BMW.